Welcome to another special edition video from Lockdown Electronics and this time I'm going to just uh, have a look at updating the firmware on the Tiny SA uh, and it's in response to a couple of questions um, that came up um, after my recent Tiny SA video and in a couple of cases people have been struggling to update the firmware and I think it's fair to say that that's probably where I was as well um, um, and it's tempting to say well if you just read the instructions on the Tiny SA page which I've got displaying here at the minute um, then you'll actually be alright if you stick to the instructions but that's a little almost patronising because actually I had a couple of goes and struggled um, so what I'm going to do is just talk you through doing an update so here is a little snapshot of my current Tiny SA and you can see it's got new software on um, but there is now a later edition so if we go to updating the firmware page and scroll down a little bit here and first of all we'll have a look at uh, where we get the firmware from which is Eric K Shock's page here and so the latest version of the firm firmware is actually uh, 1.3-206 um, um, and I'm going to uh, Get, well I've already downloaded the DFU file which is that one there so I've got that downloaded um, next thing you need to do is if you've not already done it is to get the DFU SE demo software which looks a little bit like this and again there's a, uh, a link there at st.com to get that so install that and when you've got that installed I actually found that a little bit confusing because um, it actually is there but it's actually there in the uh, STM microelectronics folder so it took me a while to, to find that on on Windows um, so run the DFU SE demo I'm just going to move that to there so you can see everything on screen and then what we need to do is we need to follow the instructions on here exactly and uh, when I've done that I've actually found this works so first thing to note here is that it says connect the Tiny SA to a PC using USB cable switch the Tiny SA on and enter DFU mode and I think the bit that I struggled with before is I hadn't got this software running when I did that. So what I'm now going to do is switch on the Tiny SA. Uh, you might hear the, I don't know well you'll hear that on the on this mic and I'm now going to enter DFU mode which I've now done and don't know if you noticed but straight away a couple of things have appeared in this window here so then it tells you to start by making a backup using the upload action function so upload action and it's saying choose so um, I'm going to call this um, my tiny SA and I'm now going to save that so that's actually now um, I, as I understand it has now uh, saved um, any in, uh, information that's on my tiny SA. I'm not too worried about that I'll just reconfigure it when I switch it on so having done that next is to update the firmware using the upgrade and verify action of DFU SE demo uh, use choose to select the new FW file I'll move that over a little bit and enable the verify after download and hit upgrade so now we go to the upgrade or verify action we select verify after download we're going to choose the latest version of the software which is there I downloaded just a while ago that appears in there and now I'm going to click upgrade notice it's telling me now the files correctly loaded and You get this error message well I just agreed yes to that and you can see it's now upgrading there um, it's now presumably it's downloading to the tiny SA 
and verify was successful uh, and it now says here well actually it doesn't say anything else there <laughs> um, so now I'm going to quit that uh, program I'm going to switch the tiny SA off and I'm going to switch it back on and I'm going to now show you this picture which is the tiny SA's um, latest version of software which um, has indeed worked now I, I think that's the easiest way to do it originally I was going to use this method using the bin file but I actually find once you've got to grips with the um, this DFU SE demo uh, bit of software which isn't I don't think it's terribly friendly it does nonetheless uh, actually work and that's allowed me to to upgrade my tiny SA so it's just a straightforward desktop PC running Windows 10 okay I hope that's helped and just perhaps encourage you to have a go and I think the, the thing that worked better for me was when I actually got this software running before I even switched on the tiny SA and then when I entered DFU mode it did indeed uh, detect it uh, straight away okay I hope that's helped if you've liked the video be great if you give things up thumbs up and um, possibly even consider subscribing thanks very much for watching and um, we'll see you on the next one